Help me out, folks. Help me out. Help me out. I'm on the Ward's Kendall's Island. The Ward's Island. On that end of the Ward's Island, it's a no-go area. Sadly, the people of the world is here in New York on the Randall's Island. And uh, the city of New York is taking the taking the taking care of the people who got here through putting their lives at risk crossing hundreds of thousands of miles from the most difficult parts of the world where we neglected for so long and it's with a deep heart that I speak without a script without a without any any affiliation to a unit of political affairs or religious affairs as a human being I'm speaking here with a heavy heart as to what we have done for millennia for thousands of years by fear by cause of neglect cause of uncertainty by pillaging the resources of the planet because it is not the fault of the innocent human lives that are running away from you could call it all kinds of names but I'm not going to call every one of you with the cerebrally evolved mental attribute should and must know that all beings, all life can be taken care on this planet without ever having to use violence, means of aggression, means of selfish ideals and ideas, means of means of uh, self-interest every life could be and can be we have the technology we have the know-how we have the resources we have enough resources on this planet to support and sustain and give a comfortable and most viable life for every human being and every creature that is around me that bee will be here doing its bits of pollinating and living a brief and a most profound life and then passing away in the next couple of weeks plastics as I talk other rubbish materials and those two guys have come on a bike and doing a bit of hobby fishing just under the Robert F. Kennedy Bridge so yeah it's difficult to accept that when we ration the nature's mother earth's resources for selfish greedy ambitions like what we have done so called the developed world we've neglected the rest of the world in fulfilling the desires and comforts and convenience of very few millions across the world and neglected billions and now when they all come to the place where they see prosperity where they see possibility where they see an opportunity they will put their life at risk because there's nothing to lose for them in places where they come from where all humans on this planet 
should be equally and comfortably be taken care of only if we had the brains so called where we so call the elite world or the educated world if the educated world was smart enough they would go out and invest far away land so that they prosper that you don't have to resort to violence and aggression and selfish greedy ambitions of few individuals but we could fulfill the comforts and convenience for everybody like there's an example right behind me hence why I'm talking a Manhattan skyline and that is only for the affordable few when I call it few you know what I mean because that is what I mean the affordable few because the rest are in a camp where the temperature today is going to be over 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 29 30 degrees Celsius and with that I'm setting out to another part of this city a great experiment great example of a city that was built on sweat hard sweat and blood and hard sacrificing lives that came here for a better world and a better life and a better opportunity and a better future which they managed to achieve in less than 250 years it's on a verge of collapse it's on a the experiment that is done is almost slipping away to another part of the world and this is how the existence work the cyclical emotions of this world rise and fall just like the waves on this little stream the inlet I haven't had anything to eat no breakfast New York has got so much to offer so much food but it's all packaged nothing natural it all has to be shipped for your convenience from far away places and uh, so there we have it I am walking this wonderful island that was once a place for a family place to have recreating a life but today the welcoming center is almost when you cross the wards bridge the pedestrian bridge that links the kendo's island the hell's bridge is over there the first site is the migrant camps i had to ask there's several police cars i had to go and ask the police i'm walking right underneath the bridge robert f kennedy bridge there we are folks wow can you hear the boom sound of the cars Hell's Gate Bridge just here. 